Hey, hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to the Afterbath Mod of the Week. <laughs> and, and today we might just have one of the most genius, but at the same time stupid mods I think I've ever seen in my life. So if you think to yourself, what are the one things that you always wish you could play as in Isaac? The things that don't get enough love? Obviously, yeah, the answer is... The scenery! Who doesn't want to play as such memorable things as rock, pot, tinted rock, bomb rock, poop, mushroom, spike block, skull, red poop, and then Eden, for some reason, is still here. Poor Eden, all your friends are now just stationary objects. But just look at this! <laughs> Let's play as the polyp, I think. Actually, no, I kind of want to play as the spike block. I feel like that's going to be better, right? But either way, let's just... <laughs> Yeah, bloody loves the ram, and we're really, really, really fast. <laughs> oh, look, even when we take damage, we don't become uh, the character this is modeled off. Look how well made this is. I am going to deliberately die, because obviously a spike block, you know, spikes into everything. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to play to the, oh, even the death animation, our spikes go in and then a ghost comes out. Why is this so well made just to play as objects? Let's go as the polyp. And yes, we do actually have another mod on as well. A different... Ah, we just do like squirts of tears everywhere. Look at this then, guys. We have ourselves very unique and special item rooms. That is for sure. So let's go through there. And then have a little look. So this is the keeper. So we have the money... As our holy hell, that is quite the difficult room. Honestly, I'm not minding that I'm dying because I do just want to see what L of these end up. So how do we be the skulls? So the skulls blue baby. Let's see how uh, this works out for us. Oh yeah, we are just literally the skull, and we have brimstone with a charging beam. Ah oh, yay! Oh no, this is a zazel. Obviously, this is a zazel. That makes sense. That's kind of cool. I like it. I do. But who do we want to play? I mean, there's just so many random objects. Tinted rock. we got to give the tinted rock a go, right? See how this goes. And uh, we just we just have a lucky foot. Why is the tinted rock so bad? I love that it has its own animation for being her and all the angles as well. <laughs> is this not just the best thing? <laughs> okay, all right. We'll play then, I think, as classic rock. Just after I've checked out Mushroom, I gotta, I gotta see what Mushroom is doing too. I think, I think that makes sense. Oh, I see. So <laughs> I can actually just uh, do the thing. That is so wonderful. Blurp, <laughs> and then we splat it apart as a mushroom. <laughs> okay, let's. Oh, I gotta see. I, this, I do want to see them all. That's the thing. Like, is this mod not ridiculous? So, yeah, we just have uh, the virus and then we walk into people and they get poisoned. That's fine. Okay, yeah, fine. I accept. Let us play as normal rock, who I assume is the Isaac equivalent, and we'll have the D6. And we're stompy and we're quite the sizable rock. So, this is it. The most plain of all of the random objects on the floor. Ye old little rock has had enough of being mocked, ignored, and blown up with impunity whenever anyone needs to get past him. He is going to go on a rampage and he is going to slay all and he's going to become Laser Rock, the scourge of humanity. <laughs> Passage, let's see if we get a ladder. We do not. Another hanged man. <laughs> Ah, that's a really cool item room, though, I have to say. Another passage, and still no ladder. That is fine. <laughs> Laser Rock! Long may you fear him! <laughs> though, ironically, we are Stompy, so we're just going to be killing our rocky brethren. The rock's gone rogue! Oh! Guys, careful! The rock's gone rogue! Though, actually, destroying the pots and stuff makes sense if we are getting revenge on all the other more liked uh, objects that you can have on the floor here. <laughs> this is just so good! Like, I'm just a rock sliding round. Obviously, I realize, you know, once the novelty wears out, it's not as interesting as it could be, which is, of course, why we have ourselves the extra special item rooms to keep us entertained. But the idea of a rock just 
smashing his way through Isaac is just, is very, very, just, well, great. You know, there's no real other way to put it. It's just amazing. Yes, talking of the rock, you rock are going to acquire the small rock. Look, we even have our own gaining item animation. It doesn't become the character that's this modeled of. Although we can't actually see it. We just absorbed the new rock into our soul. <laughs> Freaking Laser Rock, the epic journey, the tale of Laser Rock. <laughs> what more do you want from an Isaac mod? What more do you want? That is the question. I like that the uh, rock is a reroll. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, I didn't want Steve, but I also don't want the pills. I'll go see if there's a battery for Laser Rock to achieve. And um, there isn't. That is so, so sad. Well, I guess I'll just accept that we're getting some pills. Uh, I mean, I don't know how the rock is even going to ingest these pills. So this is going to prove uh, quite interesting. Blump. Oh, look, we like. Oh, blump. And now we're a green jumpy rock. Oh, that's fantastic. Telepills. <laughs> Everybody likes a teleporting rock. Yes, they do. I don't know why I felt the need to feed in that one bit of money as it died, but I did. I did. I'm now a green shade of rock. And now we're a perky rock. You know what they say about perky rocks. Ah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, we start off smashed and then formed together at the start of the floor. That's absolutely flawless. Absolutely flawless. Because we started at the floor. I know. I know. Just just hilarious. Excuse me. Coming through. Rock is on a mission here and you cannot stop the rock. No, you cannot. Uh, everybody knows that you can't stop the rock. For some reason, I decided I was immune to damage a little bit there because, you know, I'm a rock and I kind of just walked into the middle of all the enemies, but I think you can forgive me given what is occurring. <laughs> this, I wish, I really do wish that uh, this had just been like Isaac's April Fool's joke and you just, oh, that is, what, 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 I, I am a little bit upset right now. How dare you make an item room that doesn't have an item in. I am so very offended right now. I am so, so very offended right now. And you do not want to offend Laser Rock, for he will hunt you down and destroy you. Yes, he will. Let's go into our shop and have some reroll times. Hopefully end up with a... I, I, the big part of me wants to become Boomerang Rock, but no, I need to keep the D6. Yes, I do. One more reroll, see if we end up with anything. Spider-Man! Yay! The Adventures of Spider and the Rock. It's Spider and the Rock, 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 Rocks, Rock, 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 Rock. It's Spider and the Rock. It's Spider Spider and the rock. What are we going to do today, rock? Well, my dear spider, the same thing we do every day. Try and take over the basement. <laughs> One of them's a rock. The other is a spider. It's <laughs> big. That shouldn't be as amusing as it is to me, but no, it really really is and that is wonderful we are actually doing very pathetically terrible damage so that kind of sucks but there's not much i can do about it no there is not i'll just keep zapping away whoa that one nearly went straight into me that would have been a big big shame i mean we are actually doing a fairly decent amount of damage at good range and you know pretty good Speed, it's probably the same as having tears, isn't it? In fact, Tech 1 basically is just swapping your tears for lasers. So, for the most part, it is fine. All right, let's go through an experimental treatment as a rock. Ooh, we gained loads of damage and we gained loads of tears. Oh! <laughs> Behold! Behold! The Techno Brim Rock! All shall fear me with my enhanced brimstone prowess. <laughs> the Techno Beam Rock. <laughs> this is why 
I love mod of the week. This is hilarious. I see why we have the charge, because obviously we can't physically see if uh, we get it, but... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I could not have asked for a better synergy for a rock. <laughs> My revenge will be sweet. Yes, it will. The rock's revenge will be sweet. Ooh, is that going to affect it? Oh, it's not. That's so sad. But I think the saddest thing of all is that we don't get to see a happy little parasite sat on top of the rock, you know? Just a happy little parasite just sat up there on that there rock. That seems pretty nice. And we don't get to see that. Instead, we still have our slightly green, probably with envy. You know, I feel like it fits the lore of what's happening here. This is definitely a very, very jealous rock, unable to contain his rage and fury at being disregarded as the most basic of environmental objects. It's a shame we can't play as one of the pits in the ground. You know, like, we're, like in this room, where the holes in the ground and just slide along as a moving hole. Oh, man. <laughs> I, uh, I am just, I'm pleased. Like, there's, there's no other way of saying it. Like, I was, I was concerned how this would go. I was like, oh, one makes us small. We're a slightly smaller death rock. Yes, we are. Friends till the end. Yay! The rock's got some friends. That's so good. And I want you all to uh, realize that every time I say the rock, I am imagining literally the rock, as in the Scorpion King himself, uh, all up in here. And that just makes it... Oh, so much better. It really, really does. Hopefully we can find five more money and end up with the compass. It would obviously make things a lot very good. What was that sentence? <laughs> I'm gonna make things a lot very good. Ain't that right, Billy? Yeah, I like things being a lot very good. <laughs> That's what Ma always used to say. If life's a lot very good, then it's all right. Where is Ma? <laughs> you don't have a mother, Billy. Whoa. And that's how their story unfolded, when they realized their mother was just a spooky ghost that they imagined. How do you come back from that? How do you realize the truth? You don't. That's right, you. You don't. We have loads of rerolls, so that's great. We just need to kind of find the item room, though. I will be very surprised if it's not in uh, this room. Why is tech brimstone so good? And the fact it makes it look even cooler than normal brimstone? I mean, yes, please. Perthro! Is this just loads of Perthros? It is, but at the same time, the Relic Generator is actually really, really useful, so... Uh, kind of awkward, really. So many batteries, Perthros, and I can't even fully use it. Two more money, which means we need literally two more. We're not gonna get it from anywhere, are we? Which is so, so sad! It really, really is careful! That was alarmingly close to me, that exploding. I'm just having a little look around for some money, as I would very much like to find it. Yes, there wasn't any here. We'll check that. There's one, and... Oh, come on! Oh, the tease! The tease right now! Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do this! Give me one single coin! That's all I ask. That's all I wanted. I, the rock, will make this happen. I will make this happen, please. Oh, oh come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, just... oh come on. No, please. Oh, for... Why? Why do you do this world? What have I done to offend you so? Hey, there we go. I had this horrible sensation that we were going to get a coin, but it was going to be on one of those fires that we couldn't get to. And well, technically, we could have go went and trekked along and uh, got ourselves uh, the hanged man back to get it. It would have been very typical, wouldn't it? Oh, yes, it would. <laughs> Just imagine the boss's faces when a moving, sliding rock rolls into their boss room and then proceeds to fire literally lasers at them. <laughs> like, is that not just 
<laughs> the best thing you could imagine. It really is. Pass me them bombs. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. I mean, I took that because obviously I want the black heart. So here we go. And uh, let's have the lock. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Yes! Many brim rock. Uh, many brim rock. Uh, and then we'll grab the satanic Bible. Yes, we will. And then finally, a birth throw for multi dimensional baby. I guess we may as well take it. Why the hell not? And while I could go back for the other birth throw rune. This isn't exactly a serious run, is it? We are we are quite literally playing as a moving rock, so yeah. <laughs> Don't really have much else to say. Ooh, let's open all of these and see if we can't get some awesomeness. Wow, really? Nothing? That is just a shame. It really is. <laughs> I wonder what enemy is going to bring down the rock then. That's the real question. What uh, of uh, the many fiendish things that can be found in the uh, halls of Isaac's worst nightmares uh, is going to destroy our faithful hero, the rock? I mean, how many of you are cheering for him? How many of you are there on your computer screens yelling that you need the rock to succeed? Uh, that you need... Do we actually summon two more brimstone beams if we fire it through? We do! That makes it a lot more impressive. I didn't think multidimensional baby affected brimstone, but hot damn, is that a massive increase in damage. Jesus! Seriously, applying a Jesus modifier to your blood lasers has got to give it, like, at least plus two to strength. Everybody knows that. It really does. Oh, that's what clothes need to do in real life! That's the future! Clothes need to give actual stats like their D&D items. Like you put on a shirt and legitimately feel stronger or more charismatic. And imagine how much money you can make selling these clothes that gave you these magical awesome properties. And I can't even get to that. Oh, uh, who's laughing now, game? Not giving me the hangman. You are. You're laughing. You, you are, game. <laughs> Definitely, it's you. Alright, what are you? Let's uh, buy this. I mean, I'm assuming it'll be good because it's in this room. Yep, that's definitely worth 50. Ceremonial robes, that is lovely. Our damage is through the roof. No, I can't get the item room, so that's obviously a big shame. We'll see if we end up flying somewhere. I don't know. I think so far I prefer the other special item room mod just because obviously it gives a chance to actually get the items for the most part, which is a much bigger deal. Well, nothing crazy, so we'll go back to the stud finder and roll on. Sorry, we need to rock and roll. <laughs> Good times. Good times. I mean, how much would you pay for a shirt? It looks good. It's comfy. You know, it's a normal, it's a normal good shirt. How much would you pay for that shirt if you were guaranteed that it made you literally stronger? Like, let's say, uh, let's not go crazy. Let, let's say instead of being able to lift... Uh, I don't know, like a full safe, you could lift two full safes, so let's say doubles your strength as far as the shirt goes. It literally doubles your strength. How much would you be willing to pay for it? I need to do some market research here. I need to know what I'm looking at, what, what are the options. So tell me how much you would throw down for a shirt that literally doubled your strength. Oh, how much would you pay for underwear that tripled your charisma? Yeah, so it basically just makes you blind drunk whenever you put them on drunk aware i've solved so many so many issues around the world drunk aware the underwear that makes you permanently inebriated while technically not being uh, coming to a cinema not a cinema why would it be in a cinema it's a feature length movie advertising the drunken underwear oh <laughs> uh, this is why i should never be allowed in product design i i think it would be a terrible, terrible blight on us all as human beings. It really would. But I could invent some great ones. How about, right, a hat that makes you half an inch shorter. I know. Doesn't even matter that much. Doesn't even matter that much. But you get half an inch shorter. You never know. I mean, it depends. It depends. Your girlfriend might notice. Ha <laughs> ha! You thought I meant heart, height, but no! <laughs> Ah, uh, good times, good times. In retrospect, that joke probably would have been funny if I went for, like, I don't know, 10 inches. But at that point, let's just stop talking about this thread, <laughs> this conversation thread, because <laughs> unless you are truly blessed, 
technically, if if ten went, wouldn't that then end up you just having a weird, uh, like, inwards... I'm gonna stop talking! I'm gonna stop talking now! That is, um... Ha! <laughs> Why does playing as the rock make me think of such things? Oh, good times. Good times. <laughs> what a stupid mod. Seriously, what a stupid mod. Oh, we have 76 money, so I guess I do want to go visit the shop, so we'll we'll go do that. We're on we're already on depths one, so it's not crucial I uh, visit it, but obviously it still is nice to get maximum value out of things. I guess I'll get that one coin, but I'm not too bothered about doing it. Uh, and here, wait, no, we'll go in here, see what this is like. Ooh, another one, please. Please, where's the crickets ahead? Where are the items? That is eight gold chests so quickly and close to each other. Hey, at least we then get the uh, keys that we used on opening them immediately back. So technically that's not bad. And we are slaughtering everything quite nicely with this brimstone. So I can't deny that this is working out for us. I do think I'm going to face the hush, definitely. The rock versus the hush in an epic battle for the ages. Even if we are slain, I believe, I believe it will be an epic death worthy of his rockiness. Do I want double battery? I think that's actually probably useful. BFF, BFF, we'll take BFF. We don't care about that. So not only do we have infinite shops, we also have re-rolling shops. We'll take the broken watch, that's for sure. I don't really care about the battery follower, so we'll re-roll some more. I'll buy this, so then I can actually re-roll it myself, and... Uh, uh, that kind of works out. We then get this and this. I'll buy the flashlight. Ooh, steam sale on top of infinite shop. That is pretty good. That is very, very good. And then we'll buy this, re-roll, and get the pills. Don't care about them. Get the uh, Bible. Don't care about that either. That was kind of anticlimactic, considering it was an infinite shop. But it does look like going to the shop has given us the actual way to get to... Uh, our boss here, so we got that going for us. In fact, I should go back and get a... Oh, I was about to say, I should go back and get a battery, but then we immediately got given one anyway, so I guess life is good. No, now we're a slightly slower rock. Whatever will I do? Whatever will I do? Hey, Brownie. Ooh, doing a lot of damage, and obviously a lot of... Uh, Cleaviness to all of the little ones that have been summoned, and uh, here we go, Devil Deal. Oh, that's a shame. Not even any items in the chest to reroll. Tears down, not a big deal. Even more luck up. This is the luckiest rock you have ever seen. Reroll. Oh, come on. Come on now. No, I refuse. I'm going to get a battery, and uh, then we are going to see if we can't turn that into something better. I'm getting very unlucky when it comes to... Uh, those skulls. I, I think the main thing that blows me away with this mod, I think the main thing is that I just can't get over how actually well made it is for what's so stupid. Like, I'm a flashlight rock now as well, just shining brightly in the night, but it just seems so frivolous. Like, why? Just why? <laughs> oh, that works. At least blood clot brims will do a little bit more damage, but <laughs> it just seems obscene, doesn't it? It just seems obscene, and there we go. Do I want to do the boss rush? The rock versus the boss rush. I feel like that might be good, but i got to get a move on if that is indeed what I want to do. So, stand aside, fools. I have places to go and people to kill. Kill, yes, there we go. That worked out lovely straight through. Oh, these two are in my way. I need the item room very quickly. Please, world, stop, 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 stop. If only I had the black hearts to spare. If only I had the black hearts to spare. All right, get out, get out my face. Get out my face, everyone. Please, please just die. Accept your deaths. Come on now. Come on now. All right, here we go. Here we go. Really? Does the lemon don't care about you? And Dead Sea Scrolls, are you serious? Degas, degas, degas. All right, degas. All right, loads of degas. We'll take another degas and then we'll leave really rapidly. We gotta get to the boss rush. We gotta go. We gotta go, Captain. We gotta go. I don't have time for the chest. I don't have time for anything. We need to rock versus the boss rush right the hell now. Yes, we do. The epic battle for the ages. We don't have long to kill Mother, but I believe in us. I believe in us, I do. 
No, stop standing in my way. Stop standing in my way. Move, Chub. Move, please. Move. Don't do this to me. Don't. It's a single fly. It's not gonna happen, is it? I, I, what am I, what am I doing with my life here? It's not gonna happen. I mean, I could kill her in 20 seconds. Who knows? Who knows how well it will go? The fool as well. Oh, I gotta go for it. I gotta go for it. Here we go. Yes. Yes. I will get this boss rush. I will get this boss rush. I will do it. I will do it. Come on. Stamp, stamp, stamp me, stamp me, stamp me. Yeah! <laughs> get on my level. Ooh, Ipecac. Yeah, the bean. Don't really care about that. Is Ipecac going to replace our brimstone or just make it do a load more damage? I actually don't know. I'm going to assume it's not going to replace it and I'm going to acquire it. Yes, there we go. That's a load more damage, isn't it? Actually, it's not really that much more damage, but I guess at the same time, doesn't matter too much. I just wanted to face the boss rush as the rock. I really did. That's that's been my dream for so long. And then we have two rerolls on whatever item happens to drop here. Yeah, I don't really care. I'm just gonna brimstone you. I have so much health, it just doesn't even matter. Ooh, I one-shot him. That's really, really good. Our damage, I think, is better than I'm giving it credit for. And we find uh, both angels at once. That's quite hard. That normally doesn't happen, though, does it? Did that one angel just kill his friend, the angel? I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened there, in which case that's hilarious. And uh, I almost feel bad for them. Yeah, you think you can get me with your slow tears? Well, you're right, Megamore. Damn, that's actually really irritating. And uh, both of them are gone. I keep forgetting that I'm not flying. That's one of my main downsides here. I'm used to uh, flying when I'm playing as a special character mod like this. Because normally they make it flying just so it's easier for you to get around the place. But as it currently stands, that's the bloat. That is the bloat right there. But we can deal with him good. He was too busy putting his little sort of crappy green stuff on the ground to care about us. We got the two little mini ones, which means an extra spirit heart. Thank you very much. Did we do it? Nope. We've got ourselves war and a, a pointless boss. I'm surprised we can't one-shot him, though. Like, that's a lot more health than I gave him credit for. So fair enough. Fair enough. Come on, war. Stop messing around. Stop messing around. There you go. Was that so difficult? And oh, uh, the multidimensional beam enhancement is so real. It really is. And there we go. Ooh, even the cage is getting all up in this action. He really wants to be here because you don't contain the cage. No, you don't. It is a shame I can't more accurately uh, put the brimstone through him. It would make everything so good. I love that Monstro just effectively went blah. And in response, I just blad back even harder. Uh, and it just absolutely annihilated him. That is what I like to see. Are you damageable yet? Yes, you are. Surely that's it. No, there's more to slaughter you. Infidels. Yeah, and I don't use that word lightly. No, I do not. Why would I want a tinted rock with four bombs in? Thanks, world. That's such a good quality tinted rock. I'm... Did I just kill that innocent in a shell so hard that he didn't even get to split into his other forms? Because... That's actually quite ridiculous. Oh, bad timing to leap out the ground there. Boom. And boom. And there we go. Now that is a damage up. Granted, it's going to take us longer to fire, but now we should start to see some real boom, boom, pow on our brimstone. Yes, I went with full boom, boom, pow. Get on my level. I do think we're probably going to die to the hush, but at the same time... I don't care. I'm going to go fight the hush. That's what I want in life right now. Ooh, look at that. That has almost doubled our damage. So I really can't say I uh, regret that choice. Oh, not this way. Let's go get our buttons. I mean, just look at it. <laughs> Out of all the unlikely heroes to slaughter their way through an Isaac run, I think this is uh, definitely up there, I would say. 
Good, we are pretty much one-shotting everything, and we're going to have a lovely brimstone, not brimstone, sorry, but though we do have a lovely brimstone, but mainly I meant to charge D6 for our boss here. Oh, can we kill this one so hard it doesn't get to split? Oh, this one got to split, that's so sad. That's really, really sad, unless the one in the boss rush just doesn't split, and that's why that happened, I guess that would make sense. I will wait to see what's in the devil deal. Ooh, finally, we can be a flying rock. And then we'll re-roll that one. And not that bothered about Guppy's Hive, really. Really not uh, too concerned there. So we will grab this and move on with our lives. Because I've got to be a little bit speedy if we're, if we're going to face the hush as this rock here. I'm guessing right based on uh, the compass's information and then, oh, that was, that was distinctly wrong. How the hell did that dude survive? Although he's probably just behind me. Thing is, we should be able to take the hush as long as we can get some good uh, multidimensional baby damage on it. Also, <laughs> multidimensional baby damage! That sounds like a really weird anime move to call out. Uh, I will now attack you with my ultimate attack! Oh. Oh, oh, multi-dimensional baby beam! <laughs> That would be my Dragon Ball Z's character's main attack, obviously. All right, guys, I need to know. I need to know. You are tasked with coming up with a beam name to be featured in Dragon Ball Z, and it can be anything that you want. Do you abuse the power and do something silly, or do you come up with a legitimately cool one? I need to know in these comments which one you would go for. What would be your beam name? What would it be? I, I want to read some good ones. I want to be like, ha! Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, that's not bad. That's, that's what I need you to make me go. I need you to make me exhale when I read your comment. That is your challenge, should you choose to accept it. I'm surprised they got away with uh, walking over that. Normally, it's not so. And just more moolah. Distinct lack of chest items this entire run, if I'm uh, honest with you. And uh, here we go. Awesome. All right, it lives. Let's do this thing. Vroom. And of course, we managed to skip that. Though still, I am surprised it's going to take, technically speaking, three beams to bring her down with this kind of damage output. Although we didn't get multidimensional baby all up in there, so I can't be too upset about it. All right, then. Okay. Random zombies been placed in here. I see how it is, Mr. Special Room Mod. I see how it is. Let's go face ourselves some lovely, lovely hush. Grab some extra item. Oh! I am... Uh, I'm upset. I am definitely upset. But at the same time, at least we've got a... A thing. I don't really know. Oh, now we get goat head. I'm upset. I really am. I... I didn't expect such a thing to occur. Please give me black candle. Why won't you give me black candle? Just just give me black candle. Is that is that so bad? The Bible and then the detonator. Nope, that's not black candle either. I I I I I I I I I Oh man, why would we get curse of the blind? That sucks so hard. Reroll the ladder. The candle, that doesn't help either. Reroll. Champion Bell. I just wanted... I just wanted the black candle so much. Oh, there's even a reroll machine and three items and we have to pot shot little Gish. I am unamused. Hey, at least we got Gerald and the Rock. That's at least something, isn't it? That's at least something. I am very sad about this. Oh, we got a slowed hush. We got a slowed hush. Okay, firing through multidimensional beam. Holy hell, do we do a lot of damage. That is incredible. All right then, hushy boy, let's make this happen. Ooh, we are doing a surprisingly lovely amount of damage to him. I guess actually it's not that surprisingly given what we know has been happening. And again, use our multidimensional baby. Because it literally doubles our damage because it fires two separate brimstones for us. Okay, that's fine. Get back up, hush. Get back up and face me! 
<laughs> yes, there we go. I'm glad you listened to me. Now we can have a much more entertaining fight. We really, really can. Oh, they're all swarming Gerald. That's so sad. Poor Gerald. He just wanted to be friends with the flies. And now he can't be. Wait for it to go forward. There we go. Lovely double brimstone beam. And then step back and slam. And of course he's down. I don't like that these tears are still making it there into- Oh, that was freaking sneaky! Like, come on now, that was what a hell of a freaking dodge between those two. I am very happy with that. And I also feel like I'm using multidimensional baby quite well here. In fact, we're slot like there's, there's nothing else to it. We we are quite literally slaughtering the hush here, and that is just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Just so so wonderful. That was also a really good dodge. I, I'm apparently getting really good at dodging the hush. Granted, it is massively slowed hush, but still, that's what I like to see. And double zappy, looking pretty swish. Vom. <laughs> this is just so good. It really is. <laughs> the horse is just like, am I seriously being killed by a laser rock right now? Is that what is happening? Because if this is true, I need to complain to the boss council because we should not be made a mockery of. And I think being killed by a laser rock definitely counts as a mockery. I'm just saying. And then the other one's like, <laughs> you died to a laser rock. <laughs> And they'll never let it drop. They will never, ever let it drop. Much like I just dropped the hush. Boom! Get on my level. Up we go. I am so sad, though, we didn't get to just choose two items from uh, the uh, triple uh, blindness there that happened. Uh, I am going to go this way in the hope, right, in the hope that there is a secret room leading off from the curse room and that we can take one mighty fine little skip. Oh, that's a shame. Well, at least we get nine lives, so we got that going for us. It seems like this rock is just refusing to die. He really is on a path of vengeance. Bob's rock! Yes! <laughs> Especially with BFF. That's just awesome. That is just absolutely awesome. Wait, why did I get- Oh, I did get the full visible treasure map on top of compass. That means we just basically always know where we're going. So isn't that just very, very nice? I mean, obviously, we are going to uh, be killing Isaac very, very quickly here, which is uh, lovely. Don't care about any of that. And then, warm. How did you... S oh, you didn't really. The poison. The poison was enough to finish you. I just don't need any of these items, do I? I can't believe how successful this run has a literal rock has been. Like, normally, this would be incredibly lucky to get such a fantastic run with such a fantastic synergy. But we've just got just ballerness. I'll keep daggers to prevent a blind or amnesia on the chest. That seems to be a much better idea because we do have two rerolls anyway. So let's let's not be completely reroll greedy all up in here. All right then, Isaac. Vroom. That did a nice amount of damage. How about a multi-dimensional baby one? Yes, indeed. And go on, get in the sky. Rock fears no fear. Yeah, that makes no sense, but he doesn't fear fear. You know it. Oh, he managed to do one little beam before he died. How adorable. I am very sad my brimstone beam isn't wub wubbing, though. That That is definitely the saddest thing here. Pop, 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 and pop. Don't care about any of you, so boom. Ooh, big beautiful fly, big fan, and we don't want anti-grav brimstone, that's going to end up being terrible, so re-roll those, ew, ew, that's so terrible, ugh, I don't want any of them, it's just the worst, I do kind of want to recharge my uh, dice with air quotes tactical damage here, so I am going to let things beat me up a little bit just to go re-roll our final two items across there. Yay! I can one-shot basic Mega Maw. That's quite nice to know. I wanted that left key, the right key, but not the left key, okay? And I totally know my directions. Get on my level. <laughs> it looked like that final brimstone exertion literally killed that monstro too. That's so sad. That is so... 
So sad, it really is. And pop. We don't care about lard, but we do care about re-rolling, rolling, rolling. So let's go do it. Yay, we got the other key. He's not completely alone. Boom. Yes, we'll take eyes in the back of your head. And just because it's a single item anyway, and we'll find other single items to re-roll on the chest, that should about do it. Am I always going to get one out the back because it's brimstone? I feel like if I do, that's excellent. Yeah, look, I really am full on laser rock now. There's there's no way to... Well, I guess I could get something like quad shot. Ooh, Mongo Baby and Lil Chub. Uh, it's fortunately not close to uh, conjoined as I would like, but I'm hoping we can get there. I really, really am. Chub, obviously not going to be too much of a threat to our brimstoneliness. It's like, it's like the Pope of Brimstone. Oh, holy brimstoneliness, long may you reign. How am I doing so much damage to them without the brimstone? That's what I'd like to know here. That is what I would like to know. And zap, and then finally, Loki, you stand in my way. Yes, two more items. And double re-rolls. That is just, what was that? Both of them are pathetic. Come on now, give me some goods. I guess we'll have a sacrificial dagger floating around our rock, ever protective of our rockly self. I cannot believe that we didn't die on this run. Like, genuinely, I was playing so recklessly and then we didn't, and we've got nearly every major boss really slowed. I just, wow. Congratulations, this run was rock hard. I give you enjoyed this. The rock even jumps in. <laughs> the binding of rock. <laughs> Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. A good boy. Yeah.